Rachel. Let's just get on with work today, shall we, Jack? I'm sorry about last night. I was lonely. I wanted to see you. How's the tagging coming along? Might get finished today, then we can start scoring the years. Look, I'm not playing games here, Rachel. There's too much at stake. God knows I've put my whole family at risk with this. And what about me? What if Sarah finds out? She's supposed to be my closest friend. Well, she won't find out. How could she? You turning up and mouthing off in front of Kathy's a pretty good start. Well, how was I supposed to know you'd have company? I've got a life, Jack. And you've got a family. Let's keep it that way. It's not as simple as that. Look, I have to see you tonight. I'll come round. Yeah, you can. But I won't be there. Oh, please, Rachel. Come on, you two. I'm supposed to do all the work on my own again. You should be used to it by now, Ned. <laughs> Systems analyst, 30k plus car. Marketing manager, 35k plus bonuses. Eh? Eh? There's hundreds of them. I'd only have to do a year and then I could retire to Malaga and live on my yacht. <laughs> hey, you don't get jobs at first bloke or walk suit, do you know? You've got to know what you're doing. No, no, no. They have to think you know what you're doing. Look, why don't you come back and work with your son? Where you belong. For 250 an hour and me doing all the graft. <laughs> no, but this is the family business. We've got to stick together. One day, it could all be yours. No, I'm moving on. I want a job where I can use my head for a change. You can be foreman. It's too late, Dad. Wheels are in motion. Didn't love a boy stay last night. He's having a lion. Should put him out of his misery. Instead of stringing him along while you lust over Lord Lucan. A supper for one tonight, Jan. I'll be eating alone. Right. Still, Alex will be married tomorrow. Safely out of your clutches. Yes, well, I'm not sure the wedding can take place now. Tar isn't fit to attend. Morning. No, thanks. Hi. You having a cup breakfast? Uh, just coffee, please, Jan. Right. Well, I'm out of here. Where to? Oh, I thought we could spend the day together. A visiting Tara in hospital. You gonna finish her off? You're going to see how she is. Do you want me to come? Thanks. Right. See ya. See ya. You know, she spends half her life in that hospital, seeing people she's put there. Really. Mm. So a one-woman crusade to keep private medicine in business. How's your health insurance? <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Jen. Oh, Jan, fancy taking tonight off? Oh, well, uh, Kim just said that she would oh, rather... Oh, we know what Kim just said. I want you to take tonight off. Well, with all respect, Mr. Martin, you're not my boss. Not yet. But are you prepared to bet your job on it staying that way? Ah, oh, morning all. Good morning. Egg and bacon twice, please, Betty, quick as you like. <coughs> Thank you, pardon. Ah, uh, sunny side up and toasted soldiers and a nice pot of tea. Have you had a bang on the head? No. Nope. One, one. Ignore him, Betty. I'll do it. Ah, oh, thank you, darling. So, how are we this morning, dear girl? What is this, Eric? Ah, uh... With reference to your application for an extension to your drinks licence, I'm pleased to tell you it's been accepted. Ah, uh, You've uh, done this without consulting me. Ah, uh, Cathy... Uh, you forged my signature. Um, you were very busy. Uh, what with uh, um, Alice's uh, kidnap, the intruder, and I didn't want to bother you with all the trivial... So now you can make as much noise as you like till two in the morning. Well, well, I'll try and keep it down. Don't bother. We're going. Uh, Cathy, you know I'd do anything for... What? We're going. Moving out to Mill Cottage as soon as we find somewhere more suitable. <laughs> really? Uh, <coughs> how marvellous. You win, Eric. Uh, you sure there's nothing I can do to uh, make a change of mind? Good morning. How are you? Humble. I don't know how you can bear to talk to me. Why? After what my mum did to you. Oh, she must have had her reasons, Linda. Well, you might be able to forgive her, but I never will. She ruined everything between you and Sophie. Well, it didn't say much for us if all it took was a letter. At least let me try and make it up to you. Oh, yes. How exactly? Mm, night on the town? On me. Oh, and uh, Rachel's coming. Oh. oh, I'd love to, but I'm on call tonight. You were on call. But I have uh, booked a locum. Oh. So, that's settled then. Oh, I am glad you're back, Linda. It's been hell not having you around to make all my decisions for me.
Good morning. I'm here about the vacancy for the managerial position. Name? Dingle. Marlon Dingle. Fill this in. Anything you don't understand, leave blank. Is English your first language? Well, it's touch and go between that and serbo grow up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Have you got a pen? Take a seat. Thank you. How are you doing? All right. Where's Sarah when you want her? Eh? I'm gagging for a cup. Eh? How about you two? It's all right. I'll get Ned. Ah, oh, you're okay. Look, I'm there now. I'll give him a hand. You can't go on avoiding me. I'm doing all right so far. Look, I just want to get things sorted. You seduce me when the opportunity comes along. It was all down to me, as I remember. And then you just dump me when I'm inconvenient. I wish I could just call it a mistake and get on with life, but it's not working. You're on my mind all the time. Jack, don't. I know it's wrong and I've tried to stop it, but I can't. I'm dreading Sarah coming back. I just want it to be you and me. But it could never be just you and me, could it? See me tonight. <laughs> I've got to ask, what do you want, tea or coffee? up with her? I don't know. There's only one thing gets a last like that. Man trouble. Who's a lucky fella, eh? <laughs> These are very impressive qualifications, Mr Dingle. Yeah, well, don't hang about me. Always on the go, acquiring new skills, mastering another foreign language. Io parlo italiano. Mi piace verde più di Vivaldi, e lei? Achtung, uh, Spitfire. Got in Himmel. I mean, I've let my French go a bit, you know. I dare say. Which universities does this say? I can't quite make it out. Oh, yeah. Had a great time there. Learnt Lords. Got my BA, my HGV. You can call me Doctor if you like. The University of? You may not have heard of it. Try me. Hotton. The University of Hotton? Yeah, it's fairly new. Really? To be honest, as universities go, it's probably not in your first-rate league. No? In fact, it's the only place I know that's actually applied to become a polytechnic. I see. So, what you got for me? I thought, 35k plus car, private health care, company pension, blonde secretary with vast, uh, experience. <laughs> to be frank, Mr Dingle, I'm not sure we're that much in for a high fly like yourself. Well, what about all them post jobs in paper? I'm a quick learner, I can do them. Perhaps we should set our sights a little lower and work our way up. So, are you saying I'm unqualified? You've seen me form. Indeed, I have. Well, there you go, then. And I'd say that reading between the lines, you've never done a day's work in your life, have you, Mr Dingle? No, you, Luke, here, that is very nearly not true at all, that isn't. Perhaps we should start again at the beginning. All right, mate. There you go, boys. Lunch. What is it? Well, uh, that's... Thai chicken in a basket, and that's my own Filipino special curry. So you can find amongst yourselves. Look, Mandy, I I'd rather a large breakfast. Uh, and I'm saving myself for my tea. <laughs> Tough. I'm experimenting and you're my guinea pigs. But why such exotic dishes? We've got to be in competition with pollards. Anything they can do, we can do otter. After three. Three. Oh, great! You like it? What's on the menu tonight, then? <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I'm afraid your ice is melted. As long as the gin's still there. Yeah. Tough morning. Yeah. It's a busy time. Well, Jack must be grateful you're helping out. So, are you looking forward to your move? Well, Alice is pretty excited about it. She sees it all as a big adventure, you know. Listen, you can stay as long as you want. I'd be glad not to be on my own for a while. Well, it's just till we find somewhere permanent. Like I say, you're doing me a favour. So what actual working experience have you had, Mr Dingle? Well, you name it. Uh, security advisor. Ran my own shop selling Christmas knickknacks. Most recently, consultant to the catering trade. Ah, oh, excellent. What area of catering exactly? A uh, class restaurant. Hot cuisine. Name? Mandy's Munchbox. I've got the very thing, just in today. <laughs> no, I'll not do any old job. Oh, I think you may have to be realistic. If you're not, it might affect your benefits. 
You seem to claim quite a few. Go on then, I'll have a look. What is it? Commis chef. Full training provided, not too far from where you live. Where's that then? Pollard's Wine Bar, Emmerdale. Well, her wrist sprained, nothing too much to worry about, but um, she was unconscious long enough to cause concern. So she'll have to stay in for a while? Another night or two at least, just to be safe. Thank you, Doctor. It's the second door on the right then. Okay. Well, I think so. Kim! Sorry, I didn't realise you had a visitor. Shall I come back? Oh, what lovely flowers. I picked them from our own gardens. Alex tells me how much I have to thank you for. All that matters is you get well as soon as possible. Should we leave you to sleep? I'm fine. You'll have a lot of rearranging to do. I could help with phone calls. What phone calls? Oh, Cancelling the wedding. You can't let everyone turn up only to find it's not going ahead. But it is. Alex and I have agreed, even if I have to be wheeled down the aisle, we are getting married tomorrow. Thanks, Kim. If you hadn't been there, the wedding might have had to be put back for months. We're both very grateful. Well, don't be. Your happiness is reward enough. <laughs> we will see you there tomorrow, won't we? I wouldn't miss it for the world. And all. Ordinary cement, like you said. We could have built pyramids in time it's taken thee to get that here. Why right, didn't you then? Let's get it shifted. Oh, Becky. Zark? You're looking uh, very summery, if you don't mind me saying so. Oh, thank you. Yeah. There's work to be done. You heard her. I swung more lead than Jeff Capes. Zark, have you got a minute? Well, I dare say I could find one for you. Only I need some advice on the kiln, where to put it. Say no more. What I don't know about kilns isn't worth knowing. Good. <laughs> Round the back, is it? This way. Just a minute, just a minute. This fog's round here. I haven't even had the first yet. Oh, sorry I'm late, Betty. Sorry doesn't do it, Cathy. It's been like Custer's last stand in here. I've had to organise moving out. Really? And there were me thinking you'd moved out already. Table four. OK. Is uh, Mr. Pollard around? I haven't seen him. Good. Madam, wait a second. What? You've come about the position we've advertised in the kitchen. How do you know? The job centre phoned me. Ah, uh, well, uh, Mr. P's not here, so I'll be off. No, I need you to start right away. Oh, I can't. Commitments. I've got to give me notice on my other job. No, I need you here now. Come on, I'll show you where everything is. Oh, yeah, perfect for your kiln, is that? Do you think you'll be all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, gonna be a smashing place, is this? Bit like ours, plenty of fresh air, open space for the kids to play. Well, I'm glad you think so. <laughs> not having second thoughts, are you? Hey, our Lisa, she might not look much, but she knows how to build a wall. No, it's not that. What then? Well, when we bought the house, we still had Jerry, and I thought she'd grow up here, the first child in the family to have a proper home. Oh, I see, yeah. Still, you might get it back, though, mightn't you? Who knows? Still, not your problem, is it? No. Good to share, though, isn't it? Problem I have done that. Mm, yes, it is. Stop me if I'm speaking out of turn. But would you mind if I paid you a compliment? Of course not. Well, those are the nicest pair of saddles that I've ever seen. Thanks. Some women could carry them off and some women couldn't. I'm not saying Lisa isn't ladylike. She is, in her own way. But you... You're what I call a real lady. <laughs> Right, feminine and graceful. Uh, bit... Zach. Hi, Lisa, love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Perhaps Spartacus there would like to kiss it better for you. <laughs> what are you doing? I gave Jan the night off. Why? Well, it's about time you had some proper home cooking. I mean, Jan's OK, but she's no dealer, is she? If I'd wanted you to cook my meals for me, I wouldn't have employed Jan, would I? What's happened? 
Oh, nothing's happened. It's just been a stressful day. Look, this food's going to be out of this world, so just relax. We'll have a lovely evening together, and you can tell me all about it. How's Tara? Miraculously well. So is the wedding still on? Yeah. Great. I was looking forward to it. Should be quite a do. Oh, I'm sure it will be. Cheers. Cheers. I still don't see why we had to come all this way just for a drink. We could have gone to Pollard's. No, we couldn't. At least we could have walked home. Uh, Zoe. Sophie. Good, Marlon. But try to chop them a little smaller. Hey, if they go any smaller, you won't be able to see them. Yes, that's the point. Uh, you do need to... What's he doing here? Marlon's the new commie chef. <laughs> what? Out! Eric! No! Can't go now. Still got a sauce to do. I'll give you sauce. Out! Please, Eric. We can't manage without him. You See? can't go hiring people behind my back. We manage perfectly well without the likes of him. We're working ourselves into the ground. We need some time for us. My darling girl, we spend every given moment together. But the problem is, when we do get a moment alone, you're never awake. <laughs> It's a dingle. We'll come here tomorrow morning and find the kitchen's disappeared. Hey, I am here, you know. If he goes, I walk straight out with him. Oh, come on, then. I mean it. One week's trial. And if there's so much as a toothpick missing... We'll have to discuss me package. What? Share option, company car, mobile phone. How about a profit-related doggy bag? Done. Now get out, please. We're busy. Wash the salad, Marlon. Salad! 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 No right to do this. Someone had to. The pair of you are so pig headed, you never seen each other again. Well, that's up to us, isn't it, Linda? Not you. I think we better go. Anyway, the table's booked now. It'd be a pity to waste it, wouldn't it? <coughs> Have fun. See ya. So, how have you been? Fine. You? Busy. Could kill Linda for this. Well, you'll have to wait in line. So, should we look at some menus? I'm starving. Excuse me. Yes. Can we see some menus, please? Yes, certainly. We haven't seen that much of each other lately. Well, you've been in London and I've been trying to run a business. Yeah. Still, we can make up for it tonight. Mm. This is good. Didn't know you could cook. Hm. Well, there's a lot you don't know about me, Kim. The evening all. Ah, it smells good. I thought you were out tonight. Nope. Kim and I were hoping to spend the night on our own for a change. I live here, old boy. You're only around until Kim grows tired of you. Shouldn't be long now. <laughs> oh, Jan's not here. It's a bunch, pal. I think it's time we had a little heart to heart. I wasn't the way you had one. We could be friends, you and I. We're very much alike. No, we're not. Kim is only using you to pass the time. Really? What she really wants is Alex. Oh, not him uh, personally, just his title. I'll bear that in mind. You know he was round here while you are away. Well, of course he was. They're in business together. <laughs> it's not how it looked to me. I don't know what you're playing at, Chris, but me and Kim are in love with each other. So you better get used to having me around. Well, I wouldn't get too comfortable because you don't figure in Kim's plan. And you'd know, would you? Well, you've seen what happens to men she grows tired of. If I were you, I'd quit while you were ahead. I expect David Glover and my father wish they had. Right, set them up, lass. I'm just going to freshen up. Two pints, Mandy, love. OK. Mandy? <coughs> what? Would you say I was feminine? How do you mean? You know. Ladylike, graceful. Yeah? Liar. You're too busy to worry about things like that, aren't you? No. Are you serious? It's just that I'm feeling a bit overlooked. I suppose there is room for improvement. Here we go. OK. When was the last time you saw Michelle Pfeiffer in a flat cap and a boiler suit? Meaning? Meaning? I think it's about time we took a serious look at your wardrobe. I knew I should never have asked you. <laughs> well, better make the most of this. What? Well, 
night off from home farm and two fellas all to myself. Oh, watch it, Jack. She's chatting you up. <laughs> Jack. Oh, sorry, Ned. What's up, mate? Thinking about Sarah? Um, yeah. Oh, bless. Fine enough. after. You wait till I tell her. <laughs> oh. You're not worried, then? About what? I'll end up going out with lasses. She's obviously gone up Paul, aren't she? Yeah, you've got to learn to trust each other, right? I trust Betty. She could meet anybody down at the tea rooms. <laughs> it's a right up bit of passion down there, sir. If you love somebody, you've got to set them free. <coughs> but Betty always comes back, more's a pity. Hiya. Hey, love. Hello. Don't look like I'll need to trust you, mate. Just checking up on you. So that's your good deed done for the day? Yeah, but if it backfires, I've done myself out of a job. Anyway, what are you having? Uh, g and please. Linda? Yellow bottle of lager, please. Oh. Or half a lager or whatever. Hold that. Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sorry Linda did it? Set us up? No. You. I missed you. Why didn't you come and get me? I thought about it. You even got into the car once, but I couldn't go through with it. Because you weren't sure about me. Because you weren't sure about me. How can you say that? You left, didn't you? Yes, but you did nothing to stop me. You denied to my mother that we even had a relationship. How could I stay with you when you were so ashamed of me? That's not how it was. No. I'm the only girlfriend you've had. So? So, being with me would have changed your life. I'm resigned to the gossip that never quite being accepted. That's not a decision I could make for you. Nothing lasts forever. Why can't we just enjoy what we had? Didn't have to get so complicated. Oh, is that my fault? Well, Look, let's stop thinking ourselves into the ground and get on with having some fun. Don't want to come back. What do you think? <laughs>